Their story is relevant every day, every hour of the year. Not only during Black History Month, um, this has become a month to celebrate openly those stories, but every day we should be living those stories, and that's why these stories are relevant. Back about 30 years ago, there was a book called I Dream a World, and it was portraits of an African-American women in, in America. And I always struck myself as like, you know, someday I want to do this in Las Vegas because I think it's, there's so many unique people. And my only regret, I wish I would have started doing this 40 years ago. Rose McKinney James worked with Shirley Chisholm, the woman who ran as the first black a candidate for president in these United States. Um, the scope, the reach, the range, the breadth of the work that Lou Richardson has done with his construction company. Everybody has a story to tell and what they did and, and the kind of roots they put into Las Vegas and, and grab that history of, and hold on, you know, keeping, they're, 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 what they did to this history in Las Vegas and what they still are doing in Las Vegas is so important. Jeff Scheid, um, I count as a brother as well when I say have family, I, I count him among them. When he came to me with this project, we were both attending, I believe it was a Desert Companion event. He walks across the room, he and his lovely wife Jenny Scheid, who I knew through my work at the RJ, and he told me, Erica, I've been thinking, I would like to do something. I would like to capture the images of the black community. Do you know anyone? Do I know anyone? <laughs> Eric and I go back well over 25 years. She used to work with my wife at the RJ. And so we've had this friendship and I've always admired what she does in the you know, community and it's such a, an amazing spirit in her own right. In these photos, and what I, what I did is made sure that I told them before we did the photo shoot to make sure there was something in the photo that was important to them. Uh, there's like, uh, Tori Russell has has the tennis shoes he wore and the Wiz for the first performance in Broadway in the, on, in the hood. Um, there is uh, John Ponder who had uh, some of the Bible he, he, he uh, had when he was in prison. Jeff and I talk about this all the time. The fact that this ranks um, so high in the spiritual work that we're all here to do. This, this in one word is it was has been very spiritual. And it's a, it's a, and, a, and, and to me it's just this a journey that I'll never I'll never forget because it's really it's it's got me right here. I don't know why, but this is this is something that's gotten me into the heart now, and, and it's such a and I think everybody they're, they're just special angels in their own right. And I'm not a religious person, but I I found a lot of spiritual enlightenment in this one. It's really, again, that deep work of recognizing and honoring the human spirit, you know, um, honoring the spirit within us and within this community.